So what is up guys? Uh, welcome to a new video on the channel, Carful. Uh, this video is going to be a completely different one. It's about the washing machine that you're seeing here, when you get some errors, if you can repair it and how to do it. So we're going to try to do it uh, here and uh, show you how to do it. For those who are waiting for the episode 5 of the Corvette uh, uh, videos, uh, restoration videos, please be patient. I'm working on it and they will come very soon. Stay tuned. The machine gave the error E70. If you look that up on the internet, it says temperature sensor failure. But you have to ask for more details by pushing some buttons and you get the error E74 that is also related to the temperature, temperature sensor. So I went to an acquaintance of us who is a specialist in this field and I got a replacement sensor to try. So this is the sensor that came out of here. To get it out here, to get it out there, you have to loosen this bolt and push a little bit in here so that it is a little bit loosened where it is around there and then you can push it out. So I got it out and it was very dirty on top here. I cleaned it and then I cleaned it inside there with these ear sticks. See how dirty they are. different and both sides very dirty so I don't know if it is fixed but that could be could have been the the problem so first loosen the bolt here then you can put it out now I'm going to place it back in and uh, okay like this a bit difficult but it works so that is that has to be the other way around like this and then this thing will fit like you can see to push it in like this so. and then tighten the bolt Snug. Snug is good enough, it doesn't have to be too uh, tight. So, this should have solved the problem. We will see if that is true. Well, guess what? That wasn't the reason at all. It wasn't fixed after this. You could find another solution on the internet that says that the print could be dirty with carbon so up to the print now and get it out of there
carbon dust should come from the electrical motors in the machine and the dust is flying around and the magnetical components are uh, sucking it up. I took a lot of pictures of that print because there were a lot of connectors, connectors on it and uh, it was not uh, easy to get it back all in place like it was before so the photos would help me. And as you can see the print was very dirty indeed but I cleaned it very thoroughly and it looked like new and there was nothing wrong with the print with the print at all. I could place it back and see if that was the solution. Well, guess what? It wasn't the solution at all. So I went back to my friend George and he uh, told me that it could be the water pump because the uh, machine um, stood still when we got the error and it wouldn't go further. So that was an, uh, common, a common failure he said with the water pump. I should check the pump, especially the axle of the pump, on rear and tier. As you can see, the pump was at the bottom front of the machine and very hard to get to from the back of the machine, but I managed to get it out of there. And here we have the pump out of the machine and this is the inside of the water pump. Here is the axle. And as you can see, we can, we can move this. But that is normal. The new pump has that also. But in this direction. There is wear and tear too. As you can see. And that makes that it blocks when it has to start up again. And it has difficulties sometimes to start up again. And this is why I had to place a new pump. And here you see that the machine is working again. Everything works flawlessly. I have some good points with my wife here, thanks to George. So guys, this is again a wrap for this video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit also the bell icon so you won't miss out on any new coming video. And as you know, the part five of the Corvette series will be published very soon, so stay tuned for that. I will see you very soon.